Shout out to you, my family. Welcome to yet another episode of our weekly videos. Wow, it is 2024 and we are back. And what other way for us to start than with the Hornet One True Wireless Earbuds from the stables of Armageddon. Let's go. This is the Hornet One True Wireless Gaming Earbuds and it is from the stables of Armageddon. Uh, before we continue, I want to say thank you to the folks at Armageddon for sending this to me. It is not a new product, uh, it's been in the market for about, I think, two years now. But I think it's fairly new to the South African market. I'm not sure, I think maybe about a year or so. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, thank you so much for sending this to me. I told you guys I'm going to give my honest review and that is what I'm going to do right now. So um, let's get into it. Uh, it's a nice packaging, very good, I like it, simple. Uh, on the package, on the box, uh, we've got some specs written all over it. Uh, like here it says low latency for FPS and mobile gaming, clear vocal delivery, 5 hour play time at 50% volume. Uh, wireless distance of up to 10 meters, um, charge time 1 hour for the earbud and 2 hours for the charging box from MT. These are the specs on the box. Uh, I believe there are going to be more specs in the manual. But let's just get to it. Let's, let's pop this open and let's get to it. So when you pop it open, this is what you get. A manual, and guys, please go through the manual. It's also always important. I know sometimes when we, when we do these videos, we just flip the manuals aside, but please go through the manual. It really does help sometimes. We've got a manual here, and we've got a USB Type-C charging cable. We've got the charging case of the Armageddon Hornet 1, right here, and we've got the earbuds right there. Uh, these are the things that, are, that we were interested in, so let's just look at them. First of all, the charge case. Wow, I would say this. From the way it feels, first of all, I don't like shiny cases. I have a problem with fingerprints on the charging case, and this is guaranteed to leave fingerprints on the case. These are just my little quirks, and that's just me. The second one is this is super lightweight, which is a good thing. I would say the build quality of this case is not pristine. It feels like it is made from cheap plastic. It feels really, really cheap. Guys, you gotta improve. This is 2024. You can't be having this kind of build quality, even, even on budget products. So we cannot be having this kind of build quality that is just wrong uh we've got some specs here at the back at the bottom of it we've got a usb type c charging port i've got a 101 named here the label and the charge indicator lights here in front of it and we've got the logo okay these are the earbuds two of them they look like just the regular earbuds like the regular ones that was made by apple you know the very first generation ones yeah that's what it looks like the stem and the audio unit nothing spectacular at the bottom of it like always like you would expect uh we've got the charging plates there but the problem i have with the charging plates seem a bit depressed in the earbud in fact as a matter of fact that is a big problem when it comes to philips earbuds that's the only problem i have with philips earbuds they tend to when they make the this earbuds with a long stem they tend to put the the charging plates and the in, at the bottom of it and it's kind of depressed always so sometimes when you put it back in the case you miss the charge pins at the bottom of it right sometimes you miss the charge pins straight down if you look and if you miss the charge pins the charge so that is a problem if you put it on the surface there's a chance that you, you will it will touch the charge pins and you can get a charge so yeah that that is another thing that needs to be corrected here i would say it is made from the same plastic the same plastic as the charge case so i think uh, we need to improve on the build quality quality of this product. Let's put it in the case and let's do a shake test. For those of you who know why we do the shake test, to explain. For those of you that don't know why we do a shake test, I would say look at the other videos. I've explained this so many times. Look at the other videos and you will understand why. So let us just get to it. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, it's past the shake test. That means that the magnet is strong enough to keep the chart, the, the, earbuds in place while you get a charge if you're not using it, something vigorous and this is in the position where you get a lot of movement so cool that is cool all right next thing we can do is a fit test let's put this on and see how comfortably it fits when we put it on let's go let's do a fit test 
Okay, as expected, let me zoom in here so you can see. There we go. As expected, it's it is it is very comfortable, fits in your ear quite easily. Um my ears are small, so these fit real well. So yeah, I suppose that's what's expected, anyways. And you can run with this, you can go to the gym with this, you can do anything, it's in place. It's not going anywhere also it is super 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 like can hardly you can hardly feel that there's some here it's, it's it's incredible i like i like that above everything else that as relates to the fit so yeah yeah it's a good fit very good fit okay let's go pair it and let's see how easy it is to do come on you know how i do you know the process you've been if you've been watching this channel for a while you know what i'm gonna do next we're gonna put it back in the box yeah i know sounds stupid but just just follow the process so you don't complain later about one of the earbuds pairing and the other one not not, not pairing so just let's let's just go through the process shall we all right we'll put them back in the case all right let's we'll put them back in the case let's get a bluetooth out yeah so now bring it we'll take them out of the case again let's see how quick it is to spare there we go let's found it already right there and just like that it is spared very easy very simple this is how you pair if you have a problem with your pairing go through this process again delete this pairing from your phone put it back in the case take it out again and go through the pairing process again but make sure you put both back in the in the charge case and take them out again it works like a like a little mini reset thing but we just just follow the process it process it works all right let's listen to some music and see how well it performs because yeah, we this is a gaming earbud, but still we're still gonna use it for other things. Let us see how it performs. Okay, let's do that. All right, let's play some music. Let's go. I did not expect the sound to come out of this. Uh, from the build quality and all that, I I had low expectations for this when it comes to sound. The sound from this is incredible. But then again, it's a gaming earbud, so I suppose you expect quality sound. But but in as much as the build quality is a problem for me, as I'm saying right now, the sound from this I have nothing against. I'm not saying it's the best in the world. I'm not saying it's the best sound out there. But for a budget ear and the budget gaming earbud at that and one with this kind of build quality the sound from this is incredible it is clear it is crisp there's, there's the bass and 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 everything else balances out if you're a bass head you like this if you are not a bass head you're still gonna like this this is really really good very good sound i'm, I'm very surprised an example of don't judge a book by its cover this is it this is it wow all right, I've used this for about a week now, and this is my experience with it. Now, we'll talk about the positives first. Firstly, the sound quality. Now, considering how I feel about this earbud, the sound quality is surprisingly superb. I mean, it is clear, it is crisp, and no distortions, nothing. It, the bass is good. I did not expect that considering how i feel about this earbud uh you can use it you can actually listen to music you can watch movies or this very very good i did not expect the sound quality i was impressed about that now the second thing is the fit now when you put this on it is very very comfortable when you put it on you could you could have it on the whole day all day and you forget even for the little chimes that you know you hear in your ear to to let you know that your battery is about to die you could have it on in your ear the whole day and not even remember very comfortable fit and it is super lightweight i like that i like that about this another thing i liked about it also was the voice delivery very clear if you are on the phone and you're talking to somebody they can hear you you can hear them you don't sound like those budget headsets that you sound like you're underwater if you're using some other budget headsets no this is very clear very clear in fact here's what it sounds like how's it to you be family this is an audio test of the hornet one true wireless gaming earbuds from the stables of armageddon 
For all its cons, sound delivery during phone calls are pretty decent. This is what you'll sound like when you're on the phone. If you used it before or you're presently using it right now, tell me what your experience is in the comment section. Another thing about this that I like, controls. Um, very responsive. If you're tapping at the right spot for the, the touch control, your, the taps are very responsive. There's some earbuds when you tap uh, twice, it only registers one. The touch control response for this is very good. If you also follow this channel, you know how I feel about earbuds that do not have uh, volume control. Uh, this has got one. So a big positive for me considering the earbuds. Very, very good. So on performance, the controls are great, uh, very good voice delivery, very comfortable fit, sound quality, really, really good. Those are the positives. The negatives, here we go. Um, first of all, build quality of this. I don't know if it was intentional. Maybe they're trying to make it super lightweight or something because it is super lightweight. The build quality of this is not very good. The plastic is so light, you feel like you could just break it from a pinch. You could just pinch hard and you smash it. No, the build quality of this, not very good. Secondly, the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth connection for this is very shaky. You get a constant uh, Bluetooth connection if you are like five meters away from the from your device. But if you're anything above five meters and the Bluetooth starts getting choppy. Now, if you check the box here, the box says you get uh, 15 meters Bluetooth connection. If you check the manual, the manual says 10 meters. I promise you, the moment you go past five meters, your Bluetooth starts getting shaky and starts getting chopped. So my advice is five meters, your Bluetooth, for you to get a constant connection on your Bluetooth. Um, another thing I did not like about this was the battery. If you check the manual and whatever the box says, or that's written on the box, it says you get uh, five hours played at 50% volume. No, at 50% volume, I got three hours. So at 100% volume, you get less. So using the battery power for this, not so good. Um, the people that there are some people out there that would not mind. It just bothers me. Uh, another thing I did not like also was gaming with this. The latency on this is crazy. You get a full three seconds delay with this. And that throws off the entire concept of object positioning. Because if you are gaming and you're moving and you're trying to figure out positions where objects are positioned with the sound you are not going to get a good read because you get three seconds of delay when it comes to this when you're gaming with this a full three seconds i'm telling you so no um not a good latency uh not a good battery uh the bluetooth not exactly what was promised on the box and um the build quality i don't know if that's intentional but for me no not a good build quality those are the downsides um if you're using the hornet one uh, or using it presently or used it before leave in the comment section and tell me what your experience is i want to know what you think about it maybe i'm crazy <laughs> or maybe i got it wrong tell me what you think about it but this is experience with this unit the armageddon hornet one gaming earbuds so uh what i get this no i wouldn't and not because not because they are they are it is a bad earbud because for me the sound quality alone and the fact that it's got it's got a clear voice delivery when you're making phone calls uh, i could go past that uh the fact that it's also got the volume control that could sell me too but the, there are two things here that i cannot seem to get past and that for me is a latency number one and also um uh also the battery power i i cannot get past that um i i cannot be charging the earbud every three hours no i i can't do that for me that is the only reason why i would not get this but if that does not bother you i think it's a good earbud when it comes to sound quality uh but for me no i wouldn't get it thank you for watching the video up till the end don't forget to like and share if this is your first time here click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when we put out a new video if there's something you'd like to see on this channel leave it in the comment section or send me an email for more videos like this check out this one here that one there or check out our playlist until next time take care